I'm going ultra casual today, but I go ultra casual every day, but only when I'm at home. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my trash. You got it, I'm doing an empties video. Randomly, a few of you have been asking me about empties recently, of what products I've been using, what I've been loving, um, that aren't like favorites related, like things I've used up and I usually reserve that for my trash video or my empties video. So, my actual bin that I usually use is in storage, but I got this handy dandy Target bag, and I figured it was time to show you what I've been using and loving. All right, so I can kind of like prop it up a little bit. So I'm gonna try to grab like like things with like things. I will leave links below for you guys of where you can find these products if they have a link. If they don't have a link, I'm sorry, but I will try to scour the internet and try to put links down below. All right, let's do this thing. I've got a problem. I tell you guys this in every single video that I do that's an empties. These are my favorite. These are the fresh Refresh, I'm sorry, Refresh Wet Cleansing Towelettes from Target. They are the Up and Up brand in the light blue packaging. These are the best things ever. Like literally as soon as I'm done filming this video, I am going to use one of these, not one of these because these are all empty, but um, and remove my makeup. It's just such a great first step to kind of my cleansing process. And honestly, as soon as I get home from work, what I usually do is I put on something comfortable. Obviously, I put that on already. And I will take my makeup, makeup off with a makeup remover. Um, I have other steps to my skincare too, but this is kind of like the nice first step to just get the grime and dirt off your face and the makeup and just feel like fresh and clean and let your skin breathe a little bit and then go about the rest of your evening. So it's one of my favorite things. Um, these are 30 in a pack. I use one at least every day, sometimes twice a day, just depending on what's going on with me. But yes, I love this stuff as you can see. So speaking of skincare, these are my two cleansers that I had used up since I did a last empties video. Um, I had the clean and clear one just cause I was trying to get rid of some stuff that I had already pre-purchased. I have been really into the Cetaphil, this one's the daily facial cleanser. I know there's another one on the market that I think is for sensitive skin or something like that. It has a little bit of lotion in it and I hate that one. Um, but this one's for the one that says for normal to oily skin and this is my favorite and I use it all the time and I love it so much. Like I said with this one, I was just trying to ghost through some stuff that I already had purchased. Nothing's wrong with this. I just like the way the clean, like my face feels with this more. So I've just been repurchasing these bad boys and I will probably continue to repurchase unless I find something else. Also with the skincare, there are a couple of other things. Most of the stuff is skincare, honestly, you guys. So if you like skincare, stay tuned. Um, there are a couple of different like microdermabrasion things. I only really do this in the shower maybe once or twice a week. Um, this one's from Origins. This one's called Modern Friction and you just use it in the shower on your face after you cleanse and it just has a little bit of a grit to it so it helps like slough off some of the you know dead skin and things like that. This one's very similar. This is the number seven total renewal microdermabrasion exfoliator. I actually prefer this one over the other one and this one is a lot cheaper per ounce and you can get this one I think at Target or Ulta. Um, I'll probably put like Amazon links below for you guys too just depending on what's easiest for you but I'm an Amazon Prime girl, so it's a whole lot easier for me to buy stuff on Amazon, but I love this stuff and this is amazing and I use it, like I said, a couple of times a week. It's great. All right, so I have a whole bunch of different shower things. This is the Pantene Color Preserve Volume Weightless Shampoo. It was fine. I don't really have like an affinity towards any specific shampoo or conditioner, really. I haven't found anything that's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing and I wanna talk about it all the time. Um, I just do whatever cleans the hair. Like, my hair is so oily anyways that I have to wash it every single day. So, I don't know. And by the way, I have tried not washing my hair, like, for a day and, like, having a day in between. And it just is a hot mess. And I know you gotta, like, let your oils, like, figure itself out. But I tried it for, like, a month. It was, like, the worst month of my life. It was so horrible. I just felt like my hair stunk. And ugh, 
Anyway, we're not gonna talk about that. That's like a whole nother video and I am not gonna get into because it is nasty. We're already looking at my trash. Why do we need to talk about my sticky head? Um, okay, so here's another shampoo. This is the Ever Pure Volume Shampoo. Um, this was fine as well. Um, I always try to get like volumizing products, but it never really like volumizes my hair. Oh, whatever. And then this is the conditioner, the Triple Moisture Daily Deep Conditioner. I tend to use like half of the amount of conditioner than I do shampoos. So you usually see like two or three shampoo bottles and then like one conditioner. Um, I just don't use a lot of it, again, because my hair is super oily that I usually only use conditioner like on the very ends of my hair or else it just it gets even worse. It gets even worse, y'all. And the next item I have is a body wash. This is the Earth Therapeutics Pro Organic Purifying Body Wash. This was like a charcoal-y kind of color. You can kind of see it on the bottom. Um, but it was like a slate gray color and I actually really liked this and it didn't smell like it just smelled clean like it didn't have a pungent like after smell like some body washes like you just smell like fruit for the rest of your day like you just smell like florally fruits um, and I'm not really that into that I'm not into like a lot of those like body scents um, you know, I don't know. That's just me. As for when I get out of the shower, there are two of my favorite things from the body shop. These are the tea tree line. This one is the skin clearing toner and this one is the skin clearing lotion. I use these every single day and I love them and it helps keep my skin clearer than it normally would. Not that my skin is like the best, but I feel like this really helps keep like acne and spots and things like that at bay. And I also don't mind the smell. The smell isn't really that bad. And after I do my skincare, then I use these guys. These are my Origins Vitazing. They're an SPF 15. And this is just like a sheer tint. Someone called it a tinted moisturizer. I don't call it a tinted moisturizer. It really doesn't tint your skin that badly. Um, so this doesn't really necessarily replace like a foundation obviously but these are some smaller ones that i had actually had for a little while so when i moved back or not back here but when i moved here to my parents home i decided to use some of my smaller things just to start using up and i think i showed some smaller ones maybe in my last empties i can't remember when i did my last empties video you guys um but i figured it was high time to get rid of these smaller ones and i think i'm onto a regular size one now but i use it every day and i love this stuff my only makeup item i have um is the rimmel london stay matte long lasting pressed powder um you can't even like see what it was because it's just silver now but i am in color 011 creamy natural if you have really oily skin this stuff is amazing and it's only a couple bucks at the drugstore or target or even on amazon this stuff is amazing and it works really really well i'm wearing it today i wear it every single day regardless um and even if it's like the dead of winter and my skin is kind of like flaky around the nose i still get oily so if you are an oily person like me this stuff is amazing. I think they even have a color that's just called translucent. So no matter what your skin tone, it'll kind of just like blend into your foundation, but there's lots of different colors in the range in Rimmel. So I highly recommend it. And it's only a couple bucks too. So even if you make a mistake with the coloring, like it's not that big of an investment. And the last item I have is probably one of my favorite items. I use it every single day and I'm already onto my other tube, obviously. But this is the Philosophy Hands of Hope. This is a hand and cuticle cream. It feels so nice on your hands. I use it before I go to bed and I put it on and then right before I walk out the door in the morning, I slather on a thick layer of it because I have about an hour drive to get to work and it just helps like hydrate my skin before I touch papers all day. So I feel like that's really helpful, especially right now when it's just like really cold and windy and kind of nasty out there. And um, you guys see my hands in my like overshot videos for my plan with me's on Monday days and my hands aren't the best but I do try to take care of them as much as I can and I'm outside walking the dog all the time too so um, I do definitely you know have some issues but again this really helps and it's just an easy just slap it on kind of thing and just let it sit 
Um, so I love this stuff. It's amazing. And I'm actually almost out of my second one. So you'll probably see this again in my next empties video. So anyway, that was it for my trash or my empties videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'll get back to as many of you as I possibly can. Like I said, I'm going to try to link every product that I can find down below. I should be able to find most of them. But if for some reason I can't, I will just list it and just say no link available. You might be able to just find some of this stuff when you're um, walking around like Target or Walmart or Walgreens, CVS, like wherever you shop for your bathroom type items. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you would like to see more empties videos in the future. You never know. I might collect some more trash for you guys. And then also hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little portion of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!